And we start with breaking news deadlocked. The jury in the trial against four men accused of plotting to kidnap our governor say they are unable to decide on certain charges. We want to get right out to 13 on your side's Justin Bachman, who is outside the federal courthouse with the very latest. Justin. Good afternoon, Kirk. This is the most movement we've seen from the jury thus far. After a month long trial that started exactly 31 days ago, we finally know that the jury has reached a decision on some of those verdicts, on some of those decisions and those cases, but we know that they are deadlocked on some of the others. They worked for three hours this morning and then sent a note to Judge Yonker saying, well, we have some ideas, but on others we just can't decide. Here's a refresher of those charges that they have to consider. Count one is conspiracy to kidnap, which all four of the men are facing. The government says that those men had been plotting to kidnap Governor Whitmer for several months throughout 2020. Count two, conspiracy to use weapons of mass destruction. Only Barry Croft Jr., Daniel Harris, and Adam Fox are facing those charges. Count three, possession of an unregistered destructive device. The government says that Barry Croft Jr. and Daniel Harris made firework, which was wrapped in pennies for the sole purpose of inflicting harm. And the fourth count, possession of a short barrel firearm, which is only being addressed for Daniel Harris. Now, Judge Yonker instructed the jury to work for another hour after they sent him that note to see if they could reach a consensus on the charges that were dividing them before they take a break for lunch. He asked them to consider the opposite side. If somebody believes the government has proven guilt, try to see why the other person in the jury may not agree with that. And the same for those other perspectives. Now, John Jocker was very clear in making sure that none of the charges had been identified, whether it was something the jury had reached a decision on or it was one of those decisions they were deadlocked. We don't know what they are unanimously in agreement on and what they cannot seem to get somebody to budge on. The jury was told to work until lunch, hoping that if they are able to see those different perspectives, there's a chance that they see a verdict. We don't know at this point whether we'll see something by the end of the day or if we have more days of deliberation to come starting next week. But we do know that once we do have an answer, we will bring it to you live right here outside of the federal courthouse. For now, live outside the courthouse, I'm Justin Bachman, 13 on your side.